1995, I coined the term eco-fashion and people thought I was crazy, that no one would ever buy into that concept, that people who were into fashion were not into the environment and vice versa. People were skeptical because they didn't understand it. And they think more people realize you can't support one part of the equation without the other. My mantra was always, I want to style the world of change and change the world of style, bridging the tree hugger and the fashionista. Technology has the power to find solutions while you know incredible new platforms are being born to waste issues, chemical issues, water issues, climate issues, social justice issues. Um, so you know I'm kind of on fire right now, like a little kid in a candy store, with all the opportunity to take the sustainable fashion movement to a whole new level. That's why I love this conference because I really think to bring those worlds together and have the convergence of technology and sustainability and scaling impacts through technology is exactly what's needed. My personal and my business life are very integrated, right? And I think that's why humans are broken because they have two sets of values. They have their personal values and then they have their professional values. And you know what they do at work is different than what they might do at home or with their families. I tend to, before someone starts at the company, say, if you could write your own job description, what would that be? Um, because I want people to be in a place where they're actually thriving because they are happy. So I believe the five P's of good business are people, planet, profit, passion, and purpose. You know, that should be the foundation of every business going forward. And that's why the B Corp movement has taken off and is now, you know, 3,500 companies in over 70 different countries around the world because there's a new form of governance in business too, which is holding companies accountable for their environmental and social impacts, not just, you know, looking through the lens of profit anymore.